round two of what the hell did I just put in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we get into that, I was just going to show the cheese that we tried last time, the jalapeno cheese sauce. The one that said it was microwavable. And I put it in the microwave for about 20, 30 seconds. I think I put it on 30 seconds, but I had to take it out before it was over. It just completely melted it. And in fact, there's holes on this side. And when I grabbed it, it was just so soft. It was unbelievable and black smoke was coming out of it. That's, that's interesting. Huh? Yeah. And we put that on a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ate this. Yeah. Okay, so this time we're going to do pretty much what we did last time. Just different kinds of foods. These foods were, came from Big Lots, Family Dollar, mm -hmm. Walmart, Walmart, Toys R Us. Toys R Us, and then I did get some stuff from Dollar General. What we're going to do is we'll alternate between some things that are kind of salty and then kind of sweet. We'll just go back and forth. Does that sound good? Yeah. Don't ask me. Ask my stomach. <laughs> this is one thing that we found. that I've been seeing lots and lots of the Burger King onion rings. But I've never seen any of these uh, Burger King cheese fries. I just got us a couple of generic things that we were just drinking anyway. Didn't really have anything to do with anything real special. Although this is Diet Mountain Dew Voltage. I haven't tried that. And we'll bring that some uh, Pirate, but this is just kind of clear our palates because a lot of this stuff would be spicy or weird. So we're going to try the cheese fries. Um, what do you think this would be like? Kind of like, a, like those hot fries, but like Cheetos maybe? Yeah, I think. I think it's actually going to be not that bad. It's very cheesy. It kind of smells like Cheetos, but they're really funny looking. Because they look like french fries still. Yeah. Okay. It's a really strong cheese smell. It's not quite Cheetos, but it's something like that. They dissolved in nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's worse than that cotton candy. You don't have it's, anything to swallow. It's just like cotton candy. <laughs> it's a cheese flavor cotton yeah. candy. Cheese fried cotton candy. Not bad. I mean, it tastes like a cheese puff. I don't know it tastes mm -hmm. like a Cheeto. It tastes like a cheese puff, but... That's okay. I'll put that to the side, and that'll be the first thing that... Not too bad, really. Probably not something you want to eat if you're starved. You know, they're really salty, too. Um, these are some ones we found at Walmart, and these are probably something that people have heard of, but these were in the Asian ethnic section of Walmart, and they're called Pocky, product of Japan. Um, strawberry and chocolate. And what really caught our attention is the description of, well, I'll read this one. This is Pocky Strawberry Cream Covered Biscuit Sticks. These are, yeah, chocolate cream covered biscuit sticks, so... And what's funny is, if you'll notice this, it's kind of like a cigarette box. Yeah, they kind of look like those old Virginia Slims. I think this is what people do when they're trying to quit smoking. These are about, like, I think they were just like a dollar. It's actually got really fancy packaging. Once you open this little flip top pack, then you get this little bag, which has Japanese writing all over the back of it. Oh, wow, these are really thin. These smell just like strawberry quick. Here. The stick is weird. It almost tastes like sesame seed something. It's kind of like pretzel though too. An unsalted pretzel with something sweet on it. When I think biscuit, the first thing that comes to my mind is not chocolate. <laughs> no. Actually, I was thinking it's like dog food. Or gravy. Like those little, yeah, biscuits and gravy. Oh yeah, this does. This is a dark, dark chocolate. Probably just a non-milk chocolate. Oh. That's not bad. It's okay. It's just... There's really no flavor to them. I don't. I'm not a fan. Well, if you're really into uh, Japanese candy, I'd say that um, it's pretty normal for Japanese candy. And this is what I've been seeing in Dollar Store, Family Dollar, Dollar General type stuff. Everywhere you go, they've got this. It just looks kind of like Cheetos, maybe. But the idea that it's, like, it's spicy without any cheese, they just claim just spicy buffalo. Five dollar off coupon when you spend fifteen dollars at your next TGI Friday visit. So yeah. you do get a five dollar coupon. If you like. Yeah, if you like going to TGI Fridays, the restaurant, spending two bucks on this will get you a five dollar coupon off the restaurant. See what got on these. Smells spicy. Yeah. They they remind me a lot of um, it's like hot wing sauce is what it smells like. Not like just spicy, but just hot wing sauce. Oh man. Get you a whiff of that. Those are like. They're red too. They're like 
brick maroon red. Cheese doodle shirt. Oh man. Yeah. You can see how red that is. That's actually not that hot. Uh, that's in fact, that's good. pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that tastes pretty good. If you like really hot stuff, but at the same time, it's just more like the flavor, not the heat, that's what I'd recommend. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. We found these. I've never seen these before. It's Icy Squeeze Candy. If you're a fan of Icy drinks, these were really, really popular. Icy and Slurpee both. And I've never really seen these before, but we found them at the Family Dollar and said, oh, what the hell. It looks like a travel size hair gel. <laughs> yeah, you can probably put this It's only two there. ounces. You can get that on a plane. <laughs> Made in China. Oh my God, are you serious? Made in China. <sighs> Is this food? <laughs> <laughs> that does look like hair gel. I'm just not like really a big fan of things made in China. What flavor did you get, first of all? I got blue raspberry. Oh my lord. I'm gonna smell mine first. Mine here is cherry flavored. I think these are two really common icy flavors, don't you? Like mm -hmm. usually like cola flavor and then cherry, because I remember making cherry cola mixes. Yeah, these are very very tart. Very oh sweet. my gosh, this has a really strong, creepy smell. You know what it reminds me of is when you buy those really cheap fruit pies. Smell that. That smells like the cherry. I think if you just ate the syrup out of one of those cherry filled pies, that's what yeah. this would be. Woo! <laughs> it's so sour. It's with you for a while. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Greg was nice enough to take his cap off so I could try that. Oh man, that's worse. <laughs> yeah. It's not exactly just sour. It's sour and weird. Yours slightly tastes like grass or something like that. Mine's even like something for your lawn. There you go. Yes. I think you'll like this better. Oh, it's so nasty. Try that. It's sour, but it's a little better than the blue raspberry. It was definitely the texture on this one that got me as far as, uh, I don't really remember eating anything that you couldn't swallow like this. It just sticks to your tongue. And then it's so sour, it's like it's just burning you like acid. I've, I've yeah. had something that was similar to that. Remember that Coke machine my parents had when we were kids? Oh we yeah, we used to make your own cola. And it had a, you had different syrup. Mm -hmm. And then you'd take the carbonated water and taste like the cherry that was in there. Because it was yeah. real... I bet you it's a really, really concentrated uh, artificial cherry is what's in there. That's, I don't know. If you like sour stuff, go ahead and try it. But I, I would say no on that one. Yeah, I would never eat that again. If you need a whole tube of that, you're not human. For 20 cents, stone crest chili peas. Um, if you've ever had your head dried peas, these dehydrated peas, they're kind of normal. I've had them a couple times. They kind of remind me of, well, if they put them in the right flavors, they kind of remind you of like corn nuts or something like that. Uh, the outside coating is chili. So. That doesn't really smell spicy, but it smells really kind of weird. It smells like dog food. Let me show you what they kind of look like. They look sort of just like regular peas. And they have a little bit of like a... Kind of like a bread coating type thing, like baked on the trouble. Not bad. They're not, they're not chili flavored enough. I don't have much of a taste at all. Yeah. Now, if you could have put any flavor on there, that wouldn't have made the difference. Kind of like you just soak some corn nuts. About the same kind of crunch and. Mm -hmm. It's not very good. And the flavor doesn't exist. <laughs> So yes, definitely, even if you like stuff like this, pass that up. That's nasty. I have a whole bag of nasty over here. It'll <laughs> <laughs> give us a little bit of energy. Boost us up, maybe. Okay. Um, I've seen these online a lot. And then at the same time, I was kind of surprised I saw them at the dollar store. And these were at Dollar 
Dollar General, I think. They're called jitter beans. And actually, these people that make the jitter beans also make one <clears throat> called Crackheads. And the jitter beans, I think, are just chocolate flavored or chocolate covered coffee beans. Thing. But it tells you on the back if you eat this whole box, it's two and a half cups of coffee or three energy drinks. <clears throat> so we're definitely not going to eat that many. We'll just try one inch because. I just need a little bit. Huh? Yeah, I don't need to be up all night. Yeah. Oh, these are kind of white too, so these may be the exact. Oh my gosh, half this is fake. This whole side over here is just cardboard. <laughs> if you can see that, I don't know if you can or not, that cardboard section right there, the beans are actually all on this side of the box. So, box. so you don't really get much. Let's try. How about which one do you want? You want the white one or the chocolate one? I'll take the dark one. Go ahead. You like coffee much? Not, not really a fan of coffee, but... No, a little white one. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that kind of reminds you if you walked in a cigar store with your mouth open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm awake. I mean, I won't be able to blink for the rest of this video. That was bad. If you like coffee, it's not that bad. If you don't like coffee, that's worse than dog food. Because yeah. that's pure coffee. Is if you love coffee and you want something easy like that, like if you, you know, drink an energy drink or a coffee in the morning, and you're kind of on the go and you're one of those people that are now being led over to the five-hour energy kind of thing because of the convenience, try jitter beans. Because that is no joke coffee. That's a lot of coffee. I don't even remember the chocolate part. Well, don't if you're, if you're not a coffee drinker, and you ever wonder what's going through your dog's mind when he's licking his ass, pick you up a box of them. <laughs> okay, this is one we got at Walmart today and we just couldn't stand it. I'll do this one. Okay. This is actually a brand of chips that we saw at uh, Big Lots, but for whatever reason, Walmart had it. I've never heard of it. I mean, I don't know if they're famous or not, but hers. But it's hers Heinz flavored ketchup potato chips. So I don't know if this should taste like french fries and ketchup, or if it's just going to be something creepy and weird that's like neither. Ketchup flavored chips. Yeah. Basically what that is. Yeah. We got, I couldn't pass it up. It's just too weird. I, I don't, I've never heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of hers. It might be a regional chip company that's not in our area normally. They might be just not expanding. No, oh my god. Yeah, they're, they're ketchup flavored. It's not that. That smells just like if you had a if you had a plate full of fries and just put ketchup on it. That's yep. exactly that's that's the best ketchup anything that's not ketchup. You try one. I'll let you go first. All right. Yeah, I figured you needed to get that coffee out of your mouth. Take one for the team. Wow, those are super red. Kind of like Ruffles. Yeah. Man, when you smell that, it smells like uh, that, the, the vinegar and the tomato part of ketchup. They're both on there. They're actually pretty cool. I mean, you have to like ketchup, of course. Now, I'm not a humongous ketchup fan, but I like them. Yeah, not, not bad. Well, those are not bad at all. Um, if, you're, if you ever eat those salt and vinegar chips, it's kind of like that, like you can almost get a little bit of the vinegar part that's normally in ketchup, but then it's a little bit sweet, like the tomato part part's a little bit sweet, so they kind of balance each other out. But honestly, if you like ketchup, I would say find that, yeah. you know, go buy it, because that was just on like $2 for that big bag. It wasn't very expensive It's a thumbs up from here. It's pretty yeah. good. In fact, I'm just kind of afraid now I won't see them again, like they're limited, and then by the next time it'll be all sold out. I kind of like those taco chips we got last time. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, I found these. I've never heard of these. Greg said that he had heard of them. So, maybe there's something that's kind of normal. I mean, you know, maybe they're just, like, not selling very well recently, and Big Lots got them because of that. But these are made by Black Forest, and they're called Juicy Oozers. And I think they're like a sour, gummy-type candy, but it has, like, a gel in the middle. Mm -hmm. Which, to me, just seems really weird and oh, gross. Was, when I think of Black Forest, I think of ham. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, that's a really strong smell. I can't really tell you what it smells like. I wouldn't guess what it was that kind of candy though. I'm thinking if you ever had those Sour Patch candies. Oh yeah? I feel time. like just candy, like gummy worms or those chewy lifesavers, gummy lifesavers or whatever, you'll probably it's like a sour those. version of that. Yeah. With a little bit of some kind of ooze. Yeah. I think they're, I think they're different shapes, uh, like different kinds of fish. I'm gonna go with. Would you get the red star? Mm -hmm. Look at this orange fish that looks like, based on the package, he should be a, like a clownfish, like uh, should be like Nemo or whatever. I don't really get a whole lot of ooze. I wouldn't either. But it says they got juicy centers, but I didn't really get a lot of that. I didn't either. That might be one of the reasons why they're on the chopping block as far as going to. Going to uh, big lots. Maybe this nobody ever liked. Now, I will try one more because this yellow one, you can see it. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a little bit of green in the middle of that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that in half. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Get you one of the yellow ones. Now, shove in the middle, but. Oh. I just go put. It tastes completely different from the outside. Oh yeah, you can pop it out. It's like a pimple. <laughs> Gross. Those are pretty sour. That kind of tastes like a watermelon jolly rancher. Yeah. It's an odd combination because the outside of it doesn't taste anything like the inside of it. Mm -hmm. So when you come together you can't really tell what you're eating. Those are not bad. I'm pretty sure that, that yellow one tastes just like a watermelon jolly rancher. So if that's what you like, then yeah. I found this for a dollar fifty. And I just bought it because it was funny. Um, I just got to read the package. Because on the front of it it just says bag of chips. And then there's some bag of chips. But then I got to read it and it says blue chip casino or all that and a bag of chips. Using a lot of uh, early to mid nineties uh, phrasing. I was looking at this and the whole thing's about a casino. And this casino is the Michigan City, Indiana casino. And almost everything on here has to do with the casino. There's very little to do with any kind of chips. Like, nobody really cares about the chips. And then all the back of it's like, same day slot credits, complimentary to a restaurant gift shop. Then at the bottom it says gambling problems, call 1-800. I mean, it's just really funny that this is really just one big postcard advertisement mm -hmm. for that casino. And who knows what kind of chips you'll get. Well, I, I mean, that's a small world because I I lived in South Bend, Indiana, and I lived in Chicago, and this is about right directly in between both of them. Yeah, it's so probably I've, big for the people that live in that area. I've actually been to that. I've been to that casino. Actually, that town, other than the casino, they got like an outlet mall. Yeah, it's it's very very. Strange. Never knew they had their own potato chips. But. Yeah, and it's kind of funny that this chip, you know, like what you think of as potato chips, owned by like. Uh, like Lay's or you know whoever. This one actually sits down at the bottom. It says Boyd Gaming. That's who owns this Boyd Gaming property. So actually, the casino itself owns. It's a heavy bag of chips. Maybe it's there's real. Maybe there's real chips in here. Apparently, it's like it's. You know, I didn't even realize it till you read on the back because it doesn't tell you in the front. But it's kettle chips. Uh -huh. You know, like those ones that are really crunchy. I mean, any chip that's more focused on warning you about the the signs of gambling problems. They're telling you what the chips like. take your attention away from the chip. <laughs> yeah, this may be good or it may just like nobody ever eats them. They actually smell really good. If you like kettle chips, they just remind me of like a lot of chips that came out in the 90s, like those crunch burgers and stuff. What flavor? I looked on the ingredients, all the other bags of chips, and they got like 50 different ingredients. This one has potatoes, sunflower oil, and or corn oil and salt. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's actually pretty impressive. Somebody that really enjoys natural chips, they would probably really like this. And then to think that this company doesn't even advertise anything about the quality of the chips. Oh, you can tell these are really crunchy. Well, that's not too bad, but we're actually really normal. I'm not big on the kettle chips, so... Yeah, if you're not into kettle chips, you'd hate them. Look at this. 
Um, it says in here that they have a coupon book for a premium outlet mall. So that's that mall you were talking about. Yeah. It's a small, small world. I six say it's a pretty good trip. I think it's 957 miles from here south, dude. Oh, is it that far? Wow. So, somehow these chips made a thousand miles. That's like my little notice. Like how they make it home. This is something I follow out of Dollar General. And I think I've actually seen these in, um, in Jake and Owen's videos, but I'm not really for sure. But either way, I had to get it because it was just too funny. I saw them right at the cash register when I was leaving the other day. But it's the uh, Sweet and Sour Spray, which uh, is proudly made in the USA. It has right there on the end. We get green apple and then swab buoy. So, yeah. And then that's, I'm not like speaking with a speech impediment. I mean, that's exactly how it's spelled. Maybe they. Swab buoy. It has like a sticker that reminds you of like an old scratches stuff sticker there on top. It says pop off. I just feel like it's going to break. All right. All right. Um, oh, you're doing the apple? Okay. I'm doing the swab buoy. Did I have a choice? <laughs> I forgot what flavor I had. When I got the swab buoy, yeah, I will shake mine just in case. And it says you get 60% more, but yet this whole bottle's half lid. Yeah. So You I'm get 60% really... more plastic. All right. Yeah, it's like a little Binaka spray, but it's got a much bigger pump on it than anything that's like Binaka. This is like Armor All. <laughs> yeah. It's like a... Smell your deal. It's got a very, like, mine smells like strawberry. Like, strawberry's like, like strawberry shortcake. Like the old, like, strawberry scented stuff they put on like, toys and scratch and sniff stuff. Smells like ever sour apple candy you've ever had. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. Well, it's pretty sour. It instantly dissolved, but it's sour. I can't really tell that this is strawberry. It's just sour. Well, I sprayed a little bit on the outside of my mouth. Feels like I got a razor burn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Go ahead and try some of that. Your pump didn't work very good, does it? Ah. Yeah. I wasn't ready. That's horrible. Yeah, that's not very good. You can spray a whole ton of this and it really wouldn't be. That's like, I'd probably carry this more for like mace. <laughs> yeah. So you spray that in somebody's eyes? Yeah. D don't, don't mess with me. I got sweet and sour spray. Well, have you seen me? Look at that little guy. I mean, he's tough. He's a badass. Look at him. Yeah. Look at my apple. Look at your strawberry you got there. He's got sunglasses on. He's flexing. I mean, who's going to mess with him? So, if you see this... I'd say it's a good novelty, but I really, I didn't notice the difference in taste between strawberry and apple, hardly at all. It kind of tastes the same. You know, How much you pay for that? I think they're a dollar. That's a dollar bottle base. dollar it is. Yeah, and what the cool thing about this is, this is probably a lifetime supply of this stuff for a dollar. Oh, yeah. All right. West side. <laughs> this is Utz. For you guys that live on the, um, the East Coast, Utz is really big out there. Um, it's just occasionally here at random places. And in fact, I've heard a lot of people talk about there's certain flavors of Uts that they really like. I've never seen any of those flavors, but I've never seen this either. And this is baked puffed rice. It's red hot corn and potato snack. So they're not claiming it's corn. They're not claiming it's potato. It's just somewhere in between. It's a cortado. It's porn. This may be hot. It may just be nothing. It's got a lot of air. This is where the air starts. But they, at least they didn't brag that you get 60% more. They just accepted the fact. Oh my gosh. What's so funny is these... Okay, we showed you the ones that was the cheesy fries, the Burger King. This is the red hot fries, and they, they smell exactly the same. They look the same. Yeah. They look the same, they smell the same. We'll see if they dissolve like cotton candy. I think they will. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. You know, show that. Just show the inside of the bag. See how big this bag is? Well, look inside there. Hopefully you can see that really well. It looks like it's already ate half this bag. I can already feel these. These are just like those Burger Kings. Like that. Dude, no bueno. I bought... I grabbed way too many of them. Oh! Huh. Are those salt flavored? They're a little more... <laughs> They're a little more spicy than those other ones. I mean, they do have a little spice to them, but they're not good. I mean, I don't. They taste like know. a stale tortilla chip, or like a taco shell. It'd be different if it had a good flavor, but yeah, you could feel different good. about it if it was uh, 
Casey.